Hi, I'm Carly Gugino, and I am playing Stella in Audible's new original, A Streetcar Named Desire. So, Carla, A Streetcar Named Desire, written by Tennessee Williams back in 1947. For those people in the world that actually haven't experienced this play before, to you, what is this play about? Well, it's a play about sisters, two sisters, and the youngest, Stella, falls in love with uh, a Polish immigrant who's way below her station, so to speak. Her sister, Blanche, her old, slightly older sister, stays in Laurel, Mississippi um, uh, until they basically lose the plantation. Blanche, feeling destitute, comes to stay with her sister Stella and Stanley, Stella's now husband who she's never met, and uh, trouble ensues. Sure does. <laughs> what drew you to this production initially? I was, first of all, just totally intrigued. Um, I've been wanting to go to Williamstown and, and perform in Williamstown for years. Um, and so it's a bit bittersweet uh, that we haven't gotten to do that yet, um, but hopefully we will. And within that, we've gotten the boon of being able to explore this in an audible version, which has been really edifying and doing it audibly also with a play that is famously, like one of the most famous physical dramas in the American canon of theater, um, to do it without that physicality and, and to try to explore how to actually uh, find that just vocally. It really is a streetcar that I've never witnessed before. It's pretty thrilling. Was there anything new that you discovered in this process with the streetcar? I find it really interesting that these two women, Blanche and Stella, are very sexual creatures. They're both sexually active women. Sometimes this play, first because of the time it was produced, and then also I think out of reverence for a classic piece, um, there's been a little bit of a softening around the edges in certain occasions um, of, of, wait a minute, we have a house filled with alcoholics and a lot of violence, very, very heightened circumstances. Let's look at what that's really like. So let's talk a little bit about the recording process. You know, usually when you do voiceover work, it's in a studio in a very controlled environment. What was it like recording Streetcar? Robert O'Hara, he realized pretty, I, I think it was by the end of the first day, he was like, let's turn the cameras off. Because if you have the ability to look at each other, you will start to take things from the, the look you're giving me, the, you know, the eyes. Then you realize, oh no, it has to all be in the voice. So there's just an entirely different sort of skill set that's being used and things that might be being conveyed with a, a look or a smile you can't do. So we went fully audible starting the end of day one. Um, and we only came back on camera for like notes afterwards and stuff like that. It was an unforeseen experience to do this for Audible. You know, Mandy, who runs Williamstown, had a genius idea in, in deciding to um, see if Audible would like to pair up and, and and have this season of Williamstown be uh, be able to be shared with the world. And so in that way, um, this incarnation is a very special one for this play. 